So we're going to take it up another notch. We've talked about how thunderstorms occur in these cells, and these cells go through three stages, cumulus, mature, and dissipating. And then we talked about there are types of cells that are called supercells. Well, cells can combine to make um, basically a multi-thunderstorm cell overall storm. The storm has multiple cells in it. Um, and there's, broadly speaking, two types of um, systems in which you have multiple thunderstorm cells. There are squall lines, and squall lines are associated with a weather front. Um, the next slide is going to tell you the two types of weather fronts that we basically get a whole squall line of thunderstorms would be a cold front and a dry line. And then the other type of um, system, weather system, where you have multiple cells um, is called a mesoscale convective complex. And mesoscale convective complex is abbreviated MCC. So um, squall line, basically what you have is your, uh, you have frontal lifting. And um, in the case of a cold front, um, basically um, you have cold air hugging the ground, lifting warm air in front of it. And depending upon the moisture of that warm air that's being lifted up, you can go ahead and get that, this unstable situation and get a whole line of, of storms. And this is probably that sort of weather front where if we just kind of have a cold front coming down from the north, kind of swinging around, this might be our low up here. And those little, you can't see it very good, but this is the sort of radar that is giving you reflectivity. So it's giving you um, the kind of the angry reds would be where you're getting a lot of precipitation. Um, then um, the next slide is going to show you the dry line. But the thing, if you have a front coming through, I mean, fronts take a while to march through. And so these set, the set of um, thunderstorms can last a long time. <coughs> um, this actually, I don't think I've mentioned this recently. I think I mentioned it when we talked about cloud types. But there's a type of cloud called mammatus clouds. And they look like little, little pouchy things. And oftentimes, they form on the underside of the anvil. And so, of course, anvils are associated with um, a cumulonimbus cloud bumping up against the tropopause. So mammatus clouds would be associated with cumulonimbus clouds. So this is showing you, um, if you look, you have three sectors of air. We have cold, uh, dry. We have um, uh, warm, moist. And we have warm, dry. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, I said that wrong, sorry. Continental tropical is uh, warm, dry. So this is um, warm and dry, and this is warm and moist. Final answer, warm and dry, warm and moist. And where these two warm air masses meet, remember that that uh, dry air is going to be more dense, kind of hug the ground. So it's going to provide a lifting mechanism for that warm, moist air in front of it. So actually then, this right here this dry line, which corresponds to this dotted dry line over there, that's where your action is. Um, so the little caption here says that on this particular scenario, there was a, um, a series of thunderstorms, a thunderstorm squall line, and there, was, um, there were 55 tornadoes associated with that system coming through. So, oh, the other type of um, system, weather system, which you have multiple thunderstorm cells, is a mesoscale convective complex. And check this out. This is like, a, um, you can kind of see the states. Uh, here's Iowa, right? Um, uh, this is a satellite image. And what it's looking at, it's a thermal image. And it's looking at temperatures of cloud tops. And so basically, the higher your cloud, your cumulonimbus cloud pushes up, in fact, we can even have overshooting tops, then the colder it's going to be as it ascends. Remember, it's going to expand. It's going to um, adiabatically cool. So these angry cold tops up here are some really unstable situations. So a mesoscale convective complex, I think of as kind of a blobby sort of um, weather system that has multiple cells in it. Um, mesoscale convective complex, this whole like blob of thunderstorms, oftentimes they're the ones that come through at nighttime uh, when we're sleeping. And I kind of like a nice thunderstorm when I'm sleeping. Um, let's see. Must be on the next slide. Yeah. 
So mesoscale convective complex is this blob. Basically, um, it's oftentimes supplied its moisture by um, a jet stream, but it's a low-level jet stream called the nocturnal low-level jet stream. Okay, Because one of the things in order for this blob of thunderstorms to maintain their intensity is they need more moist air, and that's what the nocturnal low-level jet uh, provides. So this is a series of slides. You can kind of see that actually um, this one, this cell right here is dissipating. This cell right here has an updraft and a downdraft, and this cell right here it only has an updraft. It's in its cumulus stage. So actually there's three cells there. And then over time you can see where um, this one stopped and this one would be dissipating and this one would be mature and we have a cell 4 forming over here, etc. So, and they kind of keep each other going, especially if they have fuel from that uh, low-level jet stream, that warm, moist air.